Hi, and welcome to another English commentary by Diggity, uh, this time of Group G in Season 3. Uh, this is a game between Zelos and Hiri. Uh, Zelos is starting in the 2 o'clock position, while Hiri is starting in the 8 o'clock position. Uh, Zelos uh, in green and Hiri in blue. Uh, interesting thing about this match, uh, Zelos really hasn't been playing very well lately. Uh, he's been kind of a slump. Uh, I think his last 10 games against Terran, he's something like 3 and 10, uh, or uh, 3 and 7, I should say. Uh, I'd have to look up uh, Team Liquid to double check that. But really, he's kind of uh, fallen from the form of perfect Terran, uh, as his nickname suggests. I mean, he, he really was one of the top five, if not one of the top three Terran playing uh, not too long ago, but just recently he, he hasn't been able to put it together. Um, not sure what caused that, uh, where that streak began, but uh, right here this is his opportunity to really come back into form, uh, to show that he can really go deep into the playoffs and really just prove himself, prove once again he really does belong in the uh, top five Terran category up there with uh, with you know Huaisin and whoever else, um, this is an interesting map. It's Loki 2. I actually really enjoy this map because it creates interesting uh, ground micro fights, especially around the middle of the map, because there's this gap that kind of uh, it creates a break in reinforcements, makes it hard to reinforce your your team. And also, I don't as much like uh, Terran versus Protoss matches, but Protoss versus Protoss or Protoss versus whoever else, it really creates interesting micromanagement situations. Just because you'll see this gap right here uh, creates kind of an inter interesting formation. So it looks like Zelos is sending down uh, a pretty early scout to see uh, to scout out Hiri's base. Um, my guess is there's a protected secondary. So yeah, it looks like Hiri's going for an early expansion. Uh, we'll see if Zelos returns in kind, goes with his early expansion, or if he decides to go uh, barracks and do a early push on Hiri. There's a protected s expansion there. Uh, really, I'm rooting for Zelos, and I, I expect him to win this match. Uh, I think most people would agree with me in that. Um, I don't know much about Hiri. Uh, I know he's been played in a few matches. Uh, ooh, excellent job in Zelos escaping that three SCV push right there. Uh, continuing to scout. He, Zelos is bringing down a second SCV. It looks like he's going to do some sort of proxy build. Uh, looks like he's... Let's see what it is. He's building a proxy factory. It looks like he's going to take this attack right to Hiri's front door. Probably flood in some vultures. Right now, Hiri's getting his uh, first barrack down. But my guess is he's not going to be able to have any more than two or three marines out by the time that first vulture's in his base, which just isn't going to be enough to fight that vulture off. Um, but with that one vulture, I don't know how much damage it's going to be able to inflict before the SCVs are able to come down and block the ramp. Really the key is going to be can he re-keep his uh, ramp blocked long enough. I really I, I really like this move on Zelos because basically he's putting his reinforcements right at Hiri's front door. He's he's getting rid of that one, the distance gap, but also that gap in the middle I was talking about. It looks like uh, he resending up his scout. He's totally missed that proxy factory. Uh, I don't know if he's going to realize going in and scouting the base. Well, he's probably not even going to get get into his base to see the scout because Zelos has done a good job of blocking off his front door with those two Marines. Uh, scouting is just so important in matches like these. It looks like Zelos is making a second factory. He's going to be sending in multiple reinforcements. Look, my guess is just straight Vulture Rush right into his base, probably immediately hop to uh, Siege Tanks and uh, just do all sorts of havoc. He's just, uh, Hiri could be in extreme trouble. Here comes the first vulture now. He's going to be able to handle that marine easily, probably the second marine easily as well. Um, look, the two factories are, are beginning to be built by Hiri, but just harassment. Let's see, oh, he does a great job. Zelos does a great job of pulling his vulture out of that SCV attack, uh, doing a little bit of annoying de <laughs> annoyance here, uh, picking some of the SCVs apart. Hiri doesn't seize the second... Uh, 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 Vulture, he realizes that the reinforcements have come way too quickly. He knows that there's a proxy factory now. He's bringing as many SCVs up as possible to kill that Vulture. What he really needs to do, though, is he needs to block this ramp. It looks like Zealous has brought those two Marines guarding his front door down. 
Uh, he re just realized this mistake, tried to block the ramp, but it was too late. Another vulture coming in. He re has to get a blockade on that ramp to keep these reinforcements from blooding in his base. Otherwise, Zelos is just going to have free reign attacking these SCVs, inflicting as much damage uh, as he desires on those SCVs. Looks like he re finally got his own vulture out, but... Uh, it's, a, it's a little late. Looks like he's, uh, Zelos has a vulture in the secondary inflicting damage there. Now comes this interesting part is Zelos really cannot sit and wait on this advantage. He needs to press now before the advantage of that early expansion kicks in. He's doing a good job of inflicting damage on that secondary to minimize that advantage. It's already minimized to a degree because he's had to pull those SCVs off the line to attack. Uh, Goliath's coming in now. I'm not sure why he's bringing in Goliaths instead of tanks, but uh, they're definitely better against uh, those vultures than just standard vultures. Uh, let's see how this works out for him. This could be very bad for Hiri because uh, Goliaths, although not the best unit in the Terran arsenal, that <laughs> the best unit, of course, being tanks, they are definitely better uh, than vol the, these vultures are going to have a hard time. Looks like he finally got a marine in that bunker. I don't know how effective a single marine in that bunker is going to be against these Goliaths. These Goliaths have managed to march through. One of them goes down. He's bringing out the SCVs to attack. Uh, Hiri's doing an excellent job, actually, of pinning these Goliaths uh, back in the lower side of the base. Uh, Zelos is inflicting as much damage as possible. Uh, he's bringing down some... Uh, taking the Marines out of the bunker. There's actually four Marines. I take that back. I don't think the range upgraded yet. Uh, Zelos is doing an excellent job of doing as much damage as he can against Hiwi's excellent pin. He just pinned those Goliaths to the bottom of the base. Uh, looks like Siege... Yeah, it looks like Siege Tech is going up. Hiwi is going to be in desperate trouble here in just a second. I would expect... Uh, Zelos to, to have his barrack there by now. He's going to be able to spot with the barrack and just inflict massive damage. Massive damage, uh, and he's not going to be able to hold that ramp as soon as Siege Tech and that barrack uh, makes it to the front of Hiri's base. Here come the tanks now. Uh, it looks like just a second ago, Hiri only had one machine shop up. Uh, he's not going to be able to stop this attack. Here, here we go. It looks like he's coming up. The, the Marines are still not range upgraded. No, he doesn't even have a single machine shop to pull a tank. The Marines are coming out. Uh, Zell Zello's doing an excellent job of microing those tanks back, uh, taking <laughs> inflicting massive damage. Here comes the siege tank with that barrack uh, guarding, do also simultaneously repairing that siege tank, and all Hiri can do is pull those units back. There's nothing he can do against those tanks at the moment. He's got to get out a tank of his own, maybe try to do a, a general SCV rush, but he's in big trouble right now. Uh, Zellos is just doing an excellent job of inflicting the damage when he needs to. Right now he's trying to take down that machine shop so he so uh, he re can't pull out any sort of tanks. I'm not sure what he's doing with that barrack. Uh, maybe he's trying to kind of blockade that first tank in. I don't think that's going to be successful. Zelos brought his barrack down into Hiri's base, is building marines inside Hiri's base. Uh, here comes the SCV attack. That SCV attack should be repelled fairly easily. Looks like only five of them survived the ramp. Uh, Hiri's doing a good job of bringing his tank up. That tank uh, is now down. Two more tanks coming in from those two proxy factories. Uh, that barrack is going down. Uh, Hiri is just in dire straits here. Uh, this is definitely GG. Uh, the only thing left is for Zelos to take out that machine shop so Hiri cannot build tanks. There that first machine shop's down. I would expect one more tank. There it is. After that tank goes down, I don't think there's anything Hiri can do to stop this onslaught from Zelos, which was just uh, that was excellent precision, just kind of a, a, a direct dagger right when it needed. It looks like Zelos already has his secondary up. He, he can just start pumping tanks in here. Here he's doing a desperation attack with his SCVs against those tanks, but with the three unseaged tanks at the bottom of the ramp, they're easily taken care of. That's GG. Excellent job uh, on Zelos to one, uh, just a cut that reinforcement gap, the gap in the middle of Loki that I was talking about, went with two proxy factories, just took the punch straight to Hiri, did an excellent job of acting swiftly, didn't let that second uh, expansion have any sort of benefit for Hiri. Uh, this is just, what a good game. Uh, looks like Zelos is in decent form. Let's see how far he gets in, into the playoffs. I hope he does go far. This has been another commentary by Diggity. Uh, once again, I'm going to uh, plug uh, Clazert, Moltrap, and of course, TeamLiquid.net.